Today we're going to show you how to install Torque Engineering's 3-in-1 lift kit on a 2017 Toyota Tundra. That's 3 inches in the front and 1 inch in the back. This kit is made in America and very easy to install. And we're going to show you how you can do it in your own garage at home. To get started, you're going to want to prepare the truck. Disconnect the battery and secure the vehicle on a lift or jack stands. Remove the front tires. Remove the front skid plate. To do that, remove the front plastic valance bolts on bottom, but do not remove the valance. Loosen the front sway bar mounts, but do not remove them. Now it's time to remove the front strut assembly. Mark the lower control arm alignment cams and loosen the bolts, but do not remove them. Remove the lower sway bar link bolt. Remove the lower strut bolt. Remove the lower ball joint assembly bolts and lower the A-arm out of the way. Then remove the upper strut bolts and lower the strut out of the truck. Now it's time to install your new torque front lift. To begin, install the new torque lift spacer on top of the strut with the spacer dimple aligning with the arrow on the top of the strut. Install your new Torx stud adapters. Reinstall the strut assembly back into the top factory mount and tighten the new 10 millimeter flange nuts using thread locker. Remove the front bump stops using a large pipe wrench. Install the new torque bump stop extensions and reinstall the bump stops. Reinstall the lower strut in the factory A arm. Realign lower ball joint bracket and install rear bolts first. Install the new front steering stop bracket onto the front lower ball joint and reinstall the front ball joint bracket. Reinstall the front sway bar link bolts and tighten. Align front alignment cams and tighten lower A-arm bolts.
retighten the upper sway bar mounts. Install the differential and skid plate drop extensions. Secure the front differential and remove the two front differential bolts. Lower differential down one inch and install the new torque differential extensions between the frame and differential mount. Reinstall differential using the new differential bolts and serrated flange nuts. Reinstall front skid plate using the new torque skid plate extensions. Reinstall your front tire tightening the lug nuts in a star pattern. Refer to wheel manufacturer specs for correct foot pounds for aftermarket wheels. Now it's time to install the rear lift. Place a hoist jack stand under the rear axle. Remove rear lower shock bolts. Remove the rear U-bolt nuts and washers. and remove the U-bolts and backing plates. Lower the rear axle. Use caution to ensure that the rear brake lines and ABS sensor line is not overextended. Install the new torque lift block into the axle mount with the F facing forward. Align upper leaf spring into the block pin. Install your new torque U-bolts into the U-bolt plate and tighten new washers and nuts in an increasing tightening crisscross pattern. Reinstall rear shocks and bolts and tighten. Repeat the step on the opposite side. Lower the vehicle and check all bolts for correct foot pounds. Remember it's your responsibility to have all suspension, drivetrain, steering, and other components checked for proper tightness and torque after the first 100 miles and every 3,000 miles after that.